Good evening, YouTube. There's been a significant amount of interest in my oil candle lamp heater design, so I thought I'd give you all a basic rundown of its construction and operation here. The reservoir is simply a Yankee candle container with the wax removed. It's basically a glass cylinder with a lid. I set that into a wooden base I created with a wood lathe just to give it some added stability because it can be a bit top heavy with the terracotta pot on top. The seashells are decorative and also serve to raise the fuel level. Get a glimpse of the heart and soul of the operation there. The actual combustion takes place via this glass wick holder. That's a fiberglass wick running through the center. I'll provide a link in the description where you can order these for your own heater design. Very effective. Okay, I basically drilled a hole in the lid large enough to accommodate that glass wick holder. Also, I drilled three holes for these bolts to hold the metal clips. There, and then there's nuts on the reverse side of that as well. Those metal clips hold the radiator unit here, which serves two purposes. Not only to trap the heat and make it tangible, but it also traps the soot. Okay, any combustion process is not going to be 100% efficient. Unburned combustion products accumulate above the heat source. This is about five years worth of accumulation, however, so don't get turned off by the amount of unburned hydrocarbons collected here. Um, I haven't yet to clean this. I don't see a point in cleaning it. I'll just allow it to capture these byproducts, and that keeps them out of the air and off my ceiling. You can see it's a double pot design, one outer pot, one smaller pot inside with one of these as a cap. And that's to not only look nicer, but also to protect anyone from touching this metal piece, which is a bolt, washer, and nut configuration to hold the two pots together. They call it the metal core. It's an excellent heat distributor. It sucks up the heat and distributes it through the terracotta. As for the metal clips that hold the radiator in place, these were formed from scrap metal I had in my basement. Unfortunately, I can't provide anyone with info where to buy these. You're just going to have to figure out something that will hold the pot in place. These were metal shelf clips I rescued from the dumpster at work. And then this is a metal threshold uh, that I cut into small sections to uh, add a nice stop to hold the radiator unit in place. It works very well. Uh, you can come up with a hundred different designs for metal clips here. Um, you're just going to have to use your creativity. But it holds this in place. It makes for a very attractive looking unit. I hope this helps. And I hope some of you will build some designs of your own. It's a very nice heater for a small space or a greenhouse. Um, certainly nice to have around in the winter. Thanks for watching. Check the description for a link to buy your own glass wick holder. And if you found this helpful, leave a, leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. I appreciate it. Thank you.